Or someone just asked Demon Slayer or Hell of a Boss? What the flip? What? How are you even compare the two? Obviously, Hell of a Boss is way better. I wouldn't know. I've seen neither. Neither? Nope. Bro. All right, we're watching. Yeah, I know. I know. You want to watch the first episode of Hell of a Boss right now? How long is it? I don't know. Uh, if it's over 20 minutes, no. It's 10 I, minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, I'm done. All right, let's do it. Hell of a Boss pilot. It's been a while since I've seen it. Quite's never seen it. It's going to be dope and hype I saw, and cool. I saw Hasbun Hotel, and I came away really wanting to fuck the spider. That makes sense. I don't think there was a spider, but that makes sense. Oh, there was the angel dust. That guy's not a spider. He's very clearly a spider. He's got, He's like, a hooker. arms. You can have many arms and not be a spider, okay? That's that's arachnophobic right there. It's a, it's a spider, all right? Fucking don't get it twisted. I don't know, bro. Every time I watch Hell of a Boss, something gets twisted. Uh, just play the goddamn video. Ah, goddamn video for this episode of Hell of a Boss. We're getting quite to watch it. Let's go! Stop hugging spiders, quite. All right, now I know business has been a bit slow. Lately. It's Blitz! Yes, it's no one's fault. Okay? I love him. I'm not naming any names here. Moxie. Now, does anyone have any <laughs> bright ideas on- That's how I don't name names too, <laughs> quite. I know. How we can get business drumming up again. What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? <laughs> 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 Those were the good times. I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. One that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir. Because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams this of is so being sad. who I truly am inside. This is exactly why Quite hates collabing with me. Every time he sees me, he just thinks of his dad's asshole. Actually, I was just really into the animation, which you interrupted by pausing. Yes, I did, because I wanted to talk about Quite's dad's asshole. I don't have a father. You know I, like, just spontaneously spawned from a void, right? True. The hypothetical asshole of God. Yeah, sure. That works. I bet. Do you th do you bet God's asshole is like squeaky clean, or is it like heresy to clean it because that would be gay? So great question. I think we should definitely tackle this at a later date. Um, I'm right, glad you brought this list. up. Put it on the list <laughs> of podcast topics. <laughs> I think about God's butthole a lot, just on my own time. You too, bro. That's dope. Yo, I mean, we I have was... so much in common, Nux. I know, honestly, we do. I was thinking about how YouTube and my asshole have a lot in common. There's a lot of shit there. It kind of stinks sometimes, but I just can't help but play with it every once in a while. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was a moist critical line I just stole, but I love him so much. <laughs> I didn't want to call you on it because I saw that video today, but... I'm very forthright when it comes to who I steal my lines from, okay? For me, it depends on the day. That's fair. Anyway, let's get back to uh, Hell of a Boss. Also, which spawned from God's... You see, oh, things that aren't people aren't aware... Everything in existence spawned from God's butthole. And I mean, I mean this yeah. in the most respectful way. I mean, the existence is one big metaphorical shit stain, so that's a good analogy. Okay, I'm less bleak than you are, but anyway. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... What? Yo, quite. you want me to sing you a musical number? N no. I thought I'm... You're just gonna crush my musical dreams like that, quite. Yes. You're just gonna do that to me right here, right now? Thought we were yes, friends! Because I know me crushing them is not gonna stop you. Oh, so what you're saying is you actually do want me to sing a musical number? No, I just would rather get the satisfaction of putting <clears> you <throat> down when you do go ahead and do it anyways. I got you. CEO Entrepreneur, born in 1964, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Sing it with me, Quiet! We're on Twitch, it's Jeffrey's baby! CEO Entrepreneur, Quiet! I. I. I don't know the words, and also, I'm not gonna sing over Discord, because it would just, like, come out as, like, a cacophony of screaming from hell. Come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. Take the way, put your back into it. Tell us why. Show us how. Look where you came from. Look what you now. You hit in those notes, at least. I can't believe you. CEO. Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. Oh, this is so okay, wholesome. Sir. I'm sorry, a commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. 
Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Women, am I right? No comment. <laughs> uh, you wanted you to say, no, you are wrong. And I would say, I too have seen the error of my ways. And we can move on from this as grown individuals. But okay, okay. Nux, you have to understand, I don't hate women. I'm terrified of them. I'm afraid of I completely understand. About them. I love women and respect them. I guess this is it, just it, where we are not aligned. But then again, quite, I do have to say, you do have coward. one thing. You do have one thing on me, though. What? You're the same height as the average woman, so you could just look them in the eyes and tell them how much you respect them. I own a firearm. <laughs> okay, all right. Don't make me cross Hi state lines with this bitch. <laughs> Damn, son. No is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got Not yet. over by someone else? He said After fuck really well. Dude, and one thing that I do have to say about Hell of a Boss, they swear professionally. Every time there is a swear word in Hell of a Boss, it just sounds so beautiful. Saying, I was like thinking it earlier, but like all the voice performances are like TV level. Like they're very good. Yo, they got the, uh, in the latest episode of Hell of a Boss, they got the voice actor for the guy that plays Beetlejuice on Broadway as the voice actor. You know, he has that old raspy thing. He does this old thing the whole time. Like that, that voice, like he nails it. It's crazy. I think I know it. Hell yeah. Why for fucking a delivery man? You can imagine my surprise when I wound up here after the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jogger who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, Thanks thanks you to know, our company's can special I say access. Of course, man, always. I, I feel like <clears> if you <throat> live and die in Ohio, you should get a free pass to heaven because you've already been to hell for like the last 80 years. Like, it's not fair you have to do it again. Ohio, white boy. Hell, I went to Cleveland for that fight, man. I don't know, man. Bad place. <clears throat> True. Wait, no, they didn't play Every Day Bro by that fight, right? Nah, I, I forgot what song he came out to. That would have been dope. It was probably, uh, if I had to guess, my favorite coming out song is probably like, I feel like that nails it. What do you think? I, I like the one where Macklemore was like, when I was 13, I thought that I was gay. What the flip? <laughs> what? He has a song like that? Yeah. It was no. like a gay rights rap song from like year 2012, I think. Okay. It was probably after that. Well, interesting. To the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. Isn't that dope? When Isn't that a great business plan? Away too long, call the immediate murder professionals. Woo! And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals. Woo! We do our job so well because we come straight up from hell. We'll kill your husband or your wife. We'll even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder professionals. Doctor, he's not responding. Oh, what a stat. It didn't do anything. Damn it. I'm not losing another one. Clear! <laughs> Holy shit, it actually worked. These poor guys. He appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance <clears throat> provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? <laughs> Kids die for free. Real life America. Isn't that great though? What a great jingle. How could you not support these guys after doing that? I um, can think of some real life investors that would be behind this. I, I mean, it just depends where you're looking for your investors. There's always like somebody willing to put money into something. CEO of Trumpador, born in 1964, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein. I'd what? like to go on record and say that is not the, wait, that wait, is not the words. I'm pretty sure that was a mistake. Anyone would make it. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... Good comeback, bro! job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, IMP. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I... Oh. Then I don't want it! Ah! I'm sorry, with spiders. God damn hey, it. yo, Quai, you were just talking about how you like having sex with spiders. Uh, no, only one spider has my heart. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, excuse me. 
Did you just fax me an ad for- Hey, look! It's a reference! It's- it's a reference from how- Hey, that's- it's like, uh, that's like the hotel <laughs> show! Oh, what the flip? A24 certified. Look at that, that's crazy. Weight loss? No. What? Why- why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. No! Whoever left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam. Ah! Blitz, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. Sounds a little dtf -y. Oh, God, it was one time! If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. Yo, that's how literally all of our moms felt about us. True. True. You what? Yo, here comes Best Boy. I love him. Stolas. What a legend. Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry, I Is fucked your husband. Is he voiced by Bart Baker? I have no idea. No, not Bart Baker. The fucking, um... Brandon Rogers. Yeah, 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 fucking... I love that guy. He's funny. I don't know if you've seen, like, his original YouTube videos, but they're funny as shit. Nope. Don't know. But I do like, uh, how he breaks the bad news. That's pretty great. Oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. What? Pain, right? If only, if only more people were more upfront like Blitz. Oh, uh, fuck. Now that I know it's Brandon Rogers, the delivery makes so much sense. It's so good. <laughs> I heard you already. Oh, what can I do you for this time, Stolas? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets <laughs> lonely here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy. Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your salad and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and <laughs> with more teeth until you're screaming <laughs> like a fucking baby. Yo, we had a very similar conversation to that. Um, can we keep it between us at least? Yeah, absolutely. I would never divulge secrets. That's a lie, but sure. Eat this. And then you know that bridge over the freeway? Yeah? Shit off it. Look, the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of family. We aren't a family, sir. You are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman you let man the phones. That is offensive. Without homeless <laughs> Yo, the, a lot of them made great YouTubers, though, so hey. <laughs> People, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. <laughs> While we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you give me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? to dream in about. I was dreaming my parents were being murdered, but now I'd like to go back to that. <laughs> in hell, it's for him that I fell. Oh, Millie. Are you fucking filming us right now? Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener haver? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. Calm down, Mox. You're going to have another panic attack. I am calm. <laughs> Look, I don't judge I freaking love this show. Stuff you do outside it's pretty work good. hours. So don't. Dude, and this is just the pilot. It, it gets so much better. Like you fall in love with all of these characters over the course of the show. Yeah. I, I don't want to pause it too much because I do have to go like That's very fair. soon. That's fair. Yo, let's go. I'm down to rewatch it with this, you. This, this, this episode like i'm probably gonna watch the rest of my free time in one night oh that's fine too hell yeah elner judge me 
Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. Just <laughs> immaturely insulting you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All these jokes and you give a <laughs> to that? Wasn't expecting it. Okay, dude. Feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am. You guys are all fucking assholes. Oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. You are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Even God the damn. creepy ones. Hey now, that's not <laughs> very. If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to. <laughs> that's your husband? I figured you for a slut, but I didn't know you needed dick that bad. And you. What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, he is good. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick. I guess there is a God. <laughs> child you know, murder. Folks, Let's go. Company, I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else can. Like killing people. So from us here at the Immediate Murder Professionals Group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. You know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Please, if anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us. I'm such a growing old kid. You're welcome. Oh. Yo, isn't it great? I like that. I did like that. It's so good, dude. It's so good. And it gets better. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably like binge this in a night. Hell yeah. Thanks for having me, Nux. I need My to go pleasure. Always video. great. Always a pleasure. Yo, what is happening, gamers? And welcome back to another video. A lot of people have been asking me about my opinion on the Hell of a Boss animated series by Vivzy Pop. And, well, I've seen the pilot a long time ago, and apparently a new episode was just released. So I felt like, hey, let's watch all of Hell of a Boss together and formulate my opinion on a show that's meant to be insulting to people which already is a huge step in the right direction for me. If you're wondering why I sound weird, it's because I'm sick, hopefully with not dying with the Rona, okay? Hopefully not. Leave a like if you don't want me to die with the Rona. Let's go. Subscribe for future videos if I survive this cold. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's the right incentive. Let's freaking go! Let's see what we got here. I don't really remember it that well, but I remember enjoying it. And if I like this, goddamn, if you guys like this, I'll react to a Has Been Hotel as well. I've seen that also when it came out. Banger! But it's not like I remember it all that well. I mean, I watched it like a year ago. Let's just jump right into it. Imp City, hell yeah. It sounds like freaking Twitter. We can't afford a billboard, sir. This oh, is Jose. I'm really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? <laughs> <laughs> It's a natu natural integration into what they do. Hell yeah. Ah, that was worth a good time. Are you going to crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir. Because right now... Wow, this fits pretty hard. Yo, this is actually so legit. It's like when you have a boss saying, Yo, I want to do this. And it's like, it's a terrible idea. Are you telling me that I can't actually follow my dreams? And it's like, ah, But it's a terrible idea, but you can't say it because... Yes, yes. There's a level of suck upness as well as reality they have to slap your, you know, your employers with. And, and it's a tough line to toe. Is I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. <laughs> Nobody actually likes the jingles. This is fact. Can't confirm. All ads are ass. This is a fact. I'm sorry to everyone that sponsors my videos. You guys really help. 
But that said, people would rather not see them. This, this is the reality of the situation. But if you could make it a musical, at least it's better than just, you know, sounding like everybody else. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell? Or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? Yo, I could so see myself getting into hell for that second reason. Hell yeah, let's go. Twitter cancel gang. God, please do not. Please do not look at the Twitter trending page and judge people's sins based on Twitter. Please, God, because then I'd be going straight down to the bottom seventh layer of hell right there. After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here. Yeah, I don't understand that either, bro. If your wife does that kind of thing, wait, she deserves... Okay, fine. Let's not, let's not go too far. But that said, I totally feel for poor Ohio guy over here. Man, this is so sad. Like, truly, truly sad stuff right there. He is misunderstood. Dicks out for Ohio, man. This is so sad. Sadder than Harambe, I'll tell you that much. Bruh. Just because he murdered his wife, it's it's like, okay, fine. Let's let's not actually try to get canceled on Twitter again. After the state of I'm too sick for this. I can't get canceled on Twitter while I'm sick. <laughs> Please, Twitter gang. Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jogger who saw me hiding the body. Well, let Bruh, I think that's because Ohio actually has capital punishment. I mean, th that's that's hilariously archaic. But also, capital punishment works! Let's bring back capital punishment for everyone! Everyone gets some capital punishment! Let's go, gamers! Man, I am really looking... <laughs> I am really trying to get canceled today. Uh... That said, Capital Punishment does definitely have some high points. There are some definitely great things that come from Capital Punishment. Not necessarily killing people. That's kind of overdone, in my opinion, when it comes to Capital Punishment. But the rest of Capital Punishment, like, the gains are pretty fire, if you think about it. Don't think about it. Don't. In fact, don't think about it at all or take this out of context. I'm just reacting to a cartoon. Please leave me alone. Luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. Let's go. I do love that premise. The premise is actually fire. Clear! <laughs> Holy shit, it actually worked. I feel like that's 90% of doctors that actually cure somebody. Wait a second. When we took his leg off, he actually survived because we took his leg off? I, I just meant to... I wanted to hang that in my ballroom, man. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> then you have the he demons in the waiting room. condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? Oh, this is Ozaid. This is Ozaid. <laughs> A better Please commentary on freaking insurance policies than, like, legitimately insurance TV shows. Forf. Sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... the do your job! Hey, now we Good comeback! Let's go! Stan Moxie for life! Best boy! Wait, is this one Moxie or is... No, yeah, that's Luna. Go, Moxie! Hell yeah, good comeback! Don't let, don't let them take you down just because you're spitting facts here. Yeah, I always go for the underdog. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. I, 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 M, P. I don't know, man. You put one more letter in front of I, M, P, and you get what the boss of the I, M, P's really is here. Is it a cure for syphilis? Simp! Simp! This man is the ultimate simp. This, this came out in 2019. That was before the popularization of the word simp. This man is the imp of simp. The simp imp. Oh my god, this is amazing. I... Oh. Then I don't want it! Ah! I'm sorry, my spiders! Did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why, why would anyone send me this? <laughs> Come on. You know why. No! Oh, poor Moxie! Moxie, why you gotta do Moxie like this? It's so sad. Uh, it's pretty... You know, it's pretty, you know, undercover. It's like, ah, well, I want him to lose weight. But, well, you see, I wanted to tell him in a way that won't hurt his feelings. Just fax him an ad for weight loss. Hell yeah. That's the way it goes. That's amazing. Honestly, it's something that I need to, I need to start 
learning from something. That's a pretty impressive stuff. Whoever left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? No! Moxie! He had an avocado salad. He's trying to lose weight. He didn't have, like, freaking fried chicken or something. Like, why you gotta do him like this? Oh, this is gonna come out with me just standing, Moxie. This poor dude. This lad. My little... He, he does not simp. He actually has a wife. Doesn't simp for furry, bitch. This is actually so sad. Yo, this one thing I could say about him. He's not like Pyrocynical at all. Because if he was like Pyrocynical, he'd be way into her. Bazinga. <laughs> Just fax her like a, a therapist and anger management class. Why would you fax me an anger management class? <laughs> Why would you fax me the phone number to Alcoholics Anonymous? I need to blow off some fucking steam. Ah! Relatable. You know, you know that time you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, you just want to kick a baby? Dude, this is so relate. Wait, that's just, that's just me? Well, never mind then. Sorry, I fucked your husband. Lit! I <laughs> Uh, yo, you just, sometimes you just got to get it out from the get-go. You don't want to beat around the bush too much. That was beautiful. I'm going to watch that again. That was amazing. <laughs> Comedic masterpiece. Sorry, I fucked your husband. Hell yes. That's the way to get the edge off. You know what I'm saying? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. Hey, I like this dude's logic. Let's go. And it gets lonely. Dude, whenever I hear about the debates about global warming, I'm just honestly dying inside. My favorite... Okay, I know this is a tangent, but this channel is basically just me looking at funny shiz and going on tangents, okay? My favorite thing about global warming is the fact that it's a political debate. Like, how could it be a political debate? If the planet is disintegrate, is it yes or is it no? The scientists say yes, so it is. So how is it a political debate if it is or isn't? It's like you have these people, these super st ridiculous claims. I don't know, Alex Jones dear people coming out and saying after the frogs are all turned gay, freaking planet is secretly not melting. It's all the government strategy to tell us to start worrying about the environment when nothing's wrong. With but it is. It's clear. Okay. The point that I'm trying to make is, yes, I'm sick. My mind is befuzzled right now. I apologize. <clears throat> but that said, the fact that climate change is a political discussion as opposed to an actual, you know, fact, like you could then discuss what to do with the climate change, whether you want to act upon it or not. But to deny the existence, that's hilarious. That's just straight up funny as hell. One of my favorite things about politics is making facts political issues. Your salad and lick all of your before taking out your and with more teeth until you're screaming like a fucking baby. Yo, that is literally me to every YouTuber I try to collab with. It's like, yo, want to collab tonight? He's like, sure thing. What did you have in mind? And then I just play Owl Guy's monologue. Let's go. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. Dude, honest. Okay, I wouldn't say I laugh at homeless people, okay? That's sad, and I would not do that. But I do laugh at people that have befall, that, you know, unfortunate situations manage to befall them. Those are my favorite people to laugh at. Like Twitch streamers, where their stream goes abhorrently wrong all of a sudden. I love laughing at those people. So I relate to Blitzo over here. Let's go. All the characters are so great. I love this. Dude, I remember why I liked this so much when I first watched it. God damn. Can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie. It's not that big a deal. Excuse me. Dude, when, when you're there with your partner or whatever, and uh, you mention something, and then the partner straight up cucks whatever you were arguing, it's the worst feeling in the world. It's the worst thing ever when you're like, okay, please don't do this. And then the partner's like, but it's not really that bad. It's like, I, I, whose side are you on? <gasps> God, I know that this is just accentuating like all the worst parts of humanity. That's kind of the joke here in hell of a boss. But why do I relate to all the worst parts of humanity? This is very sad and scary stuff. Poor Moxie. Judge the boring couple stuff you do outside of work hours. So don't 
judge me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. Does immaturely- Dude, I try to say retarded without being offensive, too, and the internet just explodes! God damn, this show is made for me! God! You guys are all fucking assholes. <laughs> Oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Uh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my... Yo, better to kidnap a living kid from the human world, transport him alive to hell to heal him, than to pay for American insurance. <laughs> Health insurance. You are a selfish, greedy clown, and I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Even the creepy... Now this is fake news. Kids hate clowns. It's a propaganda pushed by adults onto children to make believe they love them. That's fake news all the way, compadre. One. Please, if anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us and fall. You're welcome. Ah, oh, that's so wholesome. Hell yeah, he reunited mother and son. Let's go. Oh, this was great. Holy crap, that was amazing. God damn it. I remember liking Has Been Hotel even more than Hell of a Boss. So, damn, that's going to be a that's going to be a legendary. I'm so excited. God damn. I, this was way better than I remembered. Oh my god. All right, episode 1. <clears throat> I'm excited. That was the pilot. Now we got episode 1 and 2 of Hell of a Boss. God damn, that was super good. Holy crap. Damn. Leave a like, subscribe. All right, let's keep going. Had a family, but it don't matter. Massacre that bitch. How dare she? God damn it! I'm really, get, I'm really freaking towing the line here with my, uh, my capital punishment jokes. So that's why I'm here, to get my revenge. I revenge for what? She just went out and murdered a bunch of people. Now she wants revenge. What? This is some some real bitch logic right here. Honestly, bitch logic is one of my favorite terminologies that I've just come up with at the spot right now, and you will hear from bitch logic again. Because this here was bitch logic. My husband was cheating on me, so therefore I murdered a bunch of people in front of a bunch of children, traumatizing them for life, and I want revenge. That there, bitch logic. Let's go. Down here in hell with you. Boop. Not all of them. Never boop an angry whammon. I've learned this from experience. If there's a whammon that's angry at you, the last thing you want to do is boop them. Booping them opens an entire can of worms. But anyway, this is in hell. Maybe, maybe the rules are kind of different here. That horse. You are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Oh, thank you. Honestly, she slept with her husband. She deserves to die. Capital punishment, gang. Rise up. Okay, goddammit. Goddammit. This meme is not healthy. This is not a healthy meme. But... If a truck were to fall on her and she would get splatified, I would not cry due to the poetic justice of the situation. Yes, we'll go with that. Under what circumstances would we ever need to kill a human family? This is why we stand Moxie, for the epic foreshadowing. I have a sneaking suspicion this episode will involve the murder of a human family. But... Hey, that's just my guess being that I have insight in this kind of thing. Now let's go lick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. Blitz. Mine's better. I agree. Stan ass licking. Ass licking gets you much further in society than ass kicking. So as someone that licked the right amount of ass, not that's honestly, I don't really lick asses too much. I should lick more asses. Good point, hell of a boss. Thank you. Puss, we're just killing a mother. We're ruining a family. Hell yeah, let's go, semantics, let's go. They just seem so wholesome and happy. I panicked. This is literally so true. You see, the thing is, when people seem too wholesome and happy, murder them. All right, all right, no, that's not the lesson that I've tried to teach here. <clears throat> when there are people that seem too wholesome and happy, they're probably hiding something, and they're wholesomeness and happiness is just an overbalancing to try and normalize the situation to try and show people that they are not in fact psycho tarts thank you hell of a boss for shedding light dude i'm just passing off my own insecurities as lessons that this show's teaching and i'm gonna keep doing so if anyone makes believe they're that wholesome they're hiding something inside god damn it no one's that wholesome Fuck you. Baby, get 
A new hole! Get her! A new hole. When you get shot, you just yell, Ah, new hole. I had eyes, ears, and a penis. But God damn it, this was unexpected. Wow. But as I was saying about the wholesome thing, this is accurate. At least I show you all how I am not wholesome. So therefore, when you see if I ever do something actually possibly wholesome, which I wouldn't, you'd know that that's actually real because I'm not hiding it. The people that try to be pure wholesomeness are the people that are, in fact, arse faces that are hiding it. That's right. Hell yeah, don't trust anyone if they make believe they're that awesome. Hey, the devil will curse the wretched day you've walked this lane. I mean, I feel like I've heard that a billion times before. There's no way fire hurts these guys. They're from hell. Let's go! You have a phone to summon 911. Yeah, it's in the kitchen. Then, what is this for? It's the universal remote. Got it for the kids. Aww. Ah, oh, loving father, you can leave them alone. No reason to call the authorities. That's nice and wholesome. Hell yeah, let's go. Moxie, stand for life. That's not messed up. That's true. Someone's trying to kill you. You kill them first, you bastard. Bitch. That's bitch logic right there. What the hell was that? Get out of here. That was amazing. Oh my god, I love this show. Holy crap. Dude, I have to watch the next. All right, this is the new one. It just came out. Damn. Damn. Bro, deserves the love. It deserves this love. What troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! I had a dream. Oh, it's a little dream. lolly devil women. A nightmare. You weren't there. there, there. Sounds like a pretty bad British accent, not gonna lie. It always seems more quiet. Ah, oh, this dude may sleep around. And he may murder people. And he may be evil, but at least he cares about his lolly daughter. All is forgiven. Oh my god, this is so awesome. I honestly, when starting this little show, I would have never in a million years expected this dude to actually be a good character, okay? Let's see if this episode changes my mind. <laughs> like, he's funny. The episode's called Lululand. I hope it's not all about this little girl's dreams. No, there's no way. I want to get back to Moxie, my boy. Pretty epic song, though. Not gonna lie. I would show my kids hell of a boss before showing them Frozen 10 out of 10 times. Okay, teenager, daughter, owl, bitch. Let's go. I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic imp sucking face. It's true. He does suck imps. Can confirm. She knows what she's talking about. Let's keep going. You may think this is an overreaction, but I would argue it is in fact not. She found out her husband was doing fornication activities that doesn't quite befit her envision of what this marriage is so i completely get what she's doing hell yeah let's go advocate of gender equality i am all for this wife she should drop kick the hell out of owl butt cheeks or whatever his name is it's by fuck you dad honestly that sounds like a real band that goth teenage girls would listen to today as well fuck you dad would probably be a sick band name okay and also they have frozen rats in the fridge for owls get it haha -ha. i haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell why don't we go to lululand that sounds way way better than what i was thinking your favorite place in hell i was picturing i don't know taking your daughter to like a freaking strip joint but that seems pretty messed up so i'm really glad they went the other route <laughs> I'm the only man who can f me. What? Who can protect me? Us. Being oh, God. Freudian slip if I've ever heard one. Family is rather valuable, you know. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three-way. The hell is this guy's fantasies? 
But that is still the best ringtone I've ever heard. It's just screamage. I love that. Language, everyone. <laughs> Yo, everyone, what's wrong with you guys? I was being so nice and composed. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done. <laughs> well, that was easier than expected. I'll never do it. I'll pay you what? Money. Done. Slam. Hell yeah. Let's go. At least this man's head's in the right place. Shame. <laughs> well, I mean, every corporate thing that exists reeks, reeks of corporate shame. I, I don't see how that's a negative, okay? You, you clearly aren't grown up enough to understand that every corporate thing reeks of corporate shame once you get to know it a little bit. Nintendo is supposed to be this place of freaking wonder and dreams coming true, and then they shut down a Smash tournament because they were using an emulator, okay? Like, let, let's, let's call a spade a spade here. I know you're a pervert under True, he probably is. All mascots are perverts. This is a fact. 100% of the time accurate. Let's go, Moxie. Calling out the reality of the situation. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What? I just said I'm not one. Perverts. Yo, yo, that's true. That is true. It's like when you walk up to a little kid and you say, don't say fuck. It's like, why did you just swear at the kid? I did not. I told him what not to say. People don't understand me. Wish I could relate. Copyright, please. The copyright gods do not like me. This is so sad. Why you gotta remind me the cruel reality of copyright infringement? I can't do this anymore. Wait, what the hell? Was she British? She just... That was Irish. I can't do this anymore. What's going on, lads? Octavia. Does anybody love you? I love Blitz. I love him and so does that. Owl dude who likes fucking him. <clears throat> Let's go. Hell yeah. He makes a great whore. Can't be said the same for you, mechanical bitch. Yeah, that's right. I'm invested now. I take it you are not having fun. What gave it away? I, I could not have seen a single sign of her not having fun in this entire episode. How, what, what, what kind of razor keen intellect, sensory, freaking emotional... Goddamn wizard is this dude that he was able to pick up on that. That's crazy. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought... That's what Blitz said when he got invited to Owl Dude's room. Didn't even want to come here. Hey. Hey. All right, all right. I'll continue. Love I'm sorry. I, I, I don't have the words. And for a posh British guy, that there is the saddest thing they will ever say. I don't have the words is straight up worse than saying I murdered an entire orphanage worth of children. British people, especially the posh ones, are always supposed to have the words. They just admitted defeat on the highest of levels. This is so sad. Oh my god! What the f- Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This dude hired the dude. Wait a second. This guy hired Blitz to bodyguard him straight up so he could simp for him the entire time. He can handle himself just fine. Oh my god. Is that one coming? Oh my god. Damn, a relation a father-daughter relationship straight up more believable than the relationship most people have with their own parents. Let's go, Gabers! Hell of a boss is a hell of a show. Honestly, I loved it. I think that this is unbelievably good. This is better than almost any other anime that came out in 2020. Wow, this was fantastic. I cannot get over how great it was. I'm really looking forward to episode three. And when it comes out, I will absolutely give it a watch with you guys. So definitely subscribe if you enjoyed. I would like to react to... Uh, has been hotel as well since it's been way too long since i've actually seen that leave a like subscribe all that good stuff i'll see you next time this was fun thank you for walking down this lovely journey of wholesomeness butterflies and bouquets of flowers along with some of the most relatable characters i've ever seen in my entire life thank you once again hopefully i'll get better soon get back in the swing of my normal content but this is great
Thank you all. Have yourself a most wonderful evening. And remember to stay weird, fam. Yo, what's up, gamers? And welcome back to another video today. Hell of a Boss Episode 3. All right, all right. I'll be honest with you. I did not plan on uploading another video on Nuxanor until my epic announcement thingy. But I had no choice because I wanted to watch this. And I know you guys have been requesting me to watch these episodes live with you guys. So here we go. <laughs> Hell of a Boss. Subscribe and leave a like. God damn it. I love this series more than I probably should. Let's just see what they got for us. I like all of that. Everything it says there. Graphic violence, horny content, yeah baby. Pain. Pain. Wow, that was... that was close. Oh my god. Bruh, the oh, shoes of Dude, ex-girlfriend, let's go. I should have known you'd be here. I can smell fish for miles, which is odd because I believe the nearest ocean is three rings down. I'm surprised they let your fat ass out of rehab. I can see you're still a drunken whore clutching onto that BLZ. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Why is there rehab in hell? Isn't the point of hell, like, literally, that you, you don't need to go to rehab for glaring issues with your life? I, I, I'm all sorts of confused right now. And rehab is for sad loser wash-ups. Unfortunately, fame does get you out of rehab. <laughs> so that's that's pretty accurate. Celebrities, I guess, even in hell, celebrities get too much status points. Oh, you've run over six children because you were driving wild drunk. Well, you are famous, so I mean, I guess we could let, let you go with an autograph. This is the only parking spot my company has, so take your tampon race car somewhere This is so else. sad. Social they have one work. parking spot for it their old company. has my name on it. Aw, you mad blitzo. You gonna run off, leaving Honestly, someone else to pay for the I, I want him to run off. God damn it, whore, you will not let that go. Choke on a sandpaper cock. Hold on! Whoa! Pussy wagon right Even now, she's watch. scared. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, you would. Or I'll, um... I'll call HR. <laughs> anyway, me my new hell hound. Wow. Vortex. Wait, that's that's the successful way to make a laugh track. Hell yeah, laugh tracks are dead. At least make them part of the meme. Oh yeah, her. Yeah, we dated. Was it before or after she became a pop star? You dated a pop star. Okay, why are you all acting like that's such a shock? <laughs> Hello, it's Verasica Mayday. It's you. I just. Is she blind? Wow! Wow! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> is she blind? Wow, thanks guys. This is like going on the dudes down bad subreddit real quick. I don't pry into your stupid personal lives. You totally do! Oh, oh never mind. You want to know what sex with Michael Crawford was like? Touche. Okay, look, let's just drop it. Good argument. Fuck, I did my makeup shitty today. Oh, you look perfect, loony. Wait, isn't she supposed to be an edgelord? Yo, this is a brilliant commentary on edgelords around the world. Dude, dude, you think edgelords are just there? They're all cool and epic. Nah, nah, nah. But when they start simping, they just go back into fourth grader level simpage. I'm telling you, that's literally every edgelord. Like, look at me, for example. People call me an edgelord. I don't know why. But when I collab with a YouTuber that I've respected for a long time, I, I just lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, look at that. I'm living proof. I hate that I just did that to myself, by the way. Ignore what I just said, please. I'm not an edgelord. Shut up. There wasn't room on the sucking floor, so they wanted one here on this one. No! Oh, come on! I don't really listen to what's classified as pop genre music. So here's Oh, what are those? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I relate to so many characters in this show. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. That's why I like this show so much. It, it It's the characters. Yes, the concept is funny, but it's all about the fact that these characters are all horrible people in different ways. And I relate to all of them. I mean, I mean, I, uh, I could see, I know people that are similar to a lot of them. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I meant. And it is actually rather important for us to retain the uh -oh. singular parking space we were assigned because... Aw, look at the little one. He's got a little bow tie. Please don't condescend me, ma'am. I... Wanna kiss you, little guy? A kind offer, <laughs> oh, no. but... See? Don't let her access any of your holes! 
Don't let her access any of your holes. Literally my advice to everyone on YouTube, okay? J just stay away. Anyone watching this video right now, do not let anyone access your holes. Unless you very much, uh, you know, after, unless research was done. <laughs> God damn it. Every time I try to give a piece of advice, it turns out... This, this is why I should stay just roasting people. I, I should never try to give positive advice. It just doesn't work out. But just just don't let people access your holes, okay? What well, I'm trying to say. If you're going to be shitty to my employees, then I challenge you to a fucking pop challenge. Off. Fuck, I said that twice. Mm. Is this imp boy starting a demon duel? I think he is. A demon duel? Let's I hope it involves Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So. so I bet you suck, you bitches, can't... Fuck as many people as we can off by the end of the day. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so now that is an epic so duel. Do this shit. First, we find a fuck ton of clients. We portal up. We have our fun murder time as per usual. We pile all the bodies into a big fucking canoe. We push said canoe into some water. We light it off. Come get her! It's a Rick and Morty reference, okay? Shut up. I know you're gonna say but it is! Sorry. A what now? I'm calling you slow, Moxie. God, why don't you learn to take criticism? Wow, this Callum this man just hit him with the Among Us smooth brain lingo. Man, goddamn, I didn't think that the Among Us trends even reached all the way to the depths of hell. But I guess that's what YouTube is, and YouTube had full of Among Us. So hey, I guess that sort of makes sense. Let's baby dick troll. Well, I can blend in with humans easy enough. Just let me tag along. Wait, say that again. I can blend in. Do you have a human disguise? Yeah, don't you? Uh, you three have been screwing around on Earth this whole fucking time without human disguises? Oh, well, plan. I mean... We aren't just going up to massacre. I got that covered, Mox. Now, we wait. Sir, there is no way wow. we are going to get enough the amount of smugness. by the end of the day with one poorly spelled bad grammar flyer. <laughs> you fool! Now, who's first? You underestimated how badly people want to see people suffer. Uh, Got it. Human disguise, let's go. Oh, Looney, look at you. You look downright awful. I am so proud. Now, bitch! Yeah. I love, <laughs> I love how accurate this is. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, she looks interested. Like, she's really contributing. Snatch orgasm that many. Right, Wait, hold on! That's a plot hole! How did they get access to the human world? What? I thought that they had because of the met. Alright, I don't know. I don't care about the plot. I'm here to watch bad people do bad things. <laughs> Editor son, just skip all the parts that I don't have anything to say. What are you, a leprechaun? Oh, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Let's, Let's go, sure leprechaun gang! Is it just me, or does she not? She does not deserve the amount of clout she's getting from this song. Okay. This is worse than every Billie Eilish song, okay? <laughs> like, legit. <laughs> but anyway, maybe I just don't see the appeal of this. Wait, hold on, that's another demon. Yeah. <laughs> that's hot. I mean, like, literally, you know, because Vortex is, you know, they give off heat. Probably. Yeah, good. Right. Uh, I'm dying. The second end <laughs> cringe. Oh. But my friends call me Tex. Oh, yeah? I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, 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 I Ouch. I don't know. <sighs> it's looking like it's up to us to handle this list. Hell yeah. Team M and M and get Let's go. Man. Best boy and best girl. Hell yeah. Important that you be distracted from your job. What? I can't have a break? We have a parking spot on the line. And that's Ooh, big. You chill out. Because I adopted you. And that should mean something. Yikes. What does it matter? You're not my real dad. I was almost 18. It still counts. Well, it shouldn't. I didn't need you then, asshole. Oh, why did the show actually have to hit you with emotions? Oh. 
so sad. And why? Wait, I've noticed something. All right, maybe, maybe this is just my weird interpretation. But in the second episode of this show, there was also like a teenage girl, and she was also like a goth emo. What? Is, what is with every teenager? It's just a goth emo edge lord. Every single one. I mean, accurate, but also like, I mean, they didn't need to do that. I feel like. This is so amazing. Well, I waste the beer. God damn. Let's. I'm. Enjoy your break, Looney. Oh, I'm gonna go okay. kill something. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, I made things easy. God damn it, man. He always does. <laughs> well, one by one, the entire crew is becoming incapacitated. Hey, what did you get for heads? I wanna kiss him. Look. Honestly, can, can we just take a moment to recognize the fact that this dude, this couple, is literally the most wholesome couple in fiction? Like, I feel like I haven't seen a movie or show recently where there wasn't a couple that was cheating on each other. Every single one, except for the two literal hell spawn. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh, they accidentally summoned C. El Chupacabra. Oh, God. See, this is what pop star concerts make, okay? Let's go. Hell yes. Now that's wholesome. Very wholesome. The good thing that dude has smaller arms than T-Rex. Yeah, you show him, you punch his uvula. God damn. <laughs> you punch his tongue. God damn it. I love that woman. Oh, she totally pegs you, doesn't she? Hey, we don't talk about that. I love how the episode started with him literally saying, Oh, we don't we don't talk about your private life. But does she peg you though? Oh yeah. She's fine. Yeah. It's so wholesome. Ah, yeah. oh, the wholesomeness! <laughs> okay, this is too I mean, they're definitely the best characters. So, I don't think this belonged to any of us. Would be a shame uh -oh. if anyone found out you guys were behind a giant monster fish in the human world. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, Satan, <laughs> you don't mean so. I am not a phantom. You know, nice. we could nice. keep this little B movie scene on the down low if you agree to let us use that parking space. <laughs> we fucking won! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! In your face, bitch! Come on. Yeah, Get baby! Well, guess it's time to bounce. But hey, if you ever down to party, I'll give you a ring sometime. Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Edge Lord. Lord throws cool. a ton of crazy hound parties. Nice. Come on, Looney Tooney. Let's go back and park our back fucking car in our back fucking space. Let's go. <laughs> Put your hands up, you sick deviants! Bruh. Every single episode is fire. Literally. This is my favorite show! God damn! Check out Vibsy Pop if you haven't yet. Hell of a Boss is really funny. And so is Has Been Hotel, their other show. I'm really happy to do these collab uh, reaction thingos. Honestly, and I will be doing to them to all the future episodes as well. Definitely check out my other meme shiz. Like and subscribe and all of that. God damn. <laughs> this was a good time. Thank you all for spending it with me. Hell yeah. Have yourself a most wonderful evening. And remember to stay weird, fam. All right, hell yeah. Let's go. Episode 5. Hell of a boss. Boo. Boarding. Oh, I also groaned. What a relatable character. Okay, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs>
I'm sorry for having to move a little. Oh my god, I love that gay owl dude. I have an engagement this month on the full moon. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get, I get the setting a little better now. Happens. It's not really something I fuss about, but as it may seem, Blitzy, my grimoire is actually incredibly important, and it isn't supposed to be lent out to itty bitty ints like yourself. Oh, man, it's this a is very so sad. Occasion. Let's go, Harvest Moon. <laughs> Nothing bad has ever happened by a Harvest Moon festival. Okay, I think out of the last five times I've heard of Harvest Moon festival, night. Four of them involved a lot of people dying. Um, but anyway. Annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. Ring of Wrath! That sounds awesome. Charming little Dude, that's basically what my channel's all about. Subscribe to join the Ring of Wrath. Let's go. But he pronounced it like a posh British dude. So I have to put on my Connor impression. <clears throat> Please subscribe for the Ring of Wrath. There we go, boo! Wrath, huh? My employees are from there. Why don't you all join Damn. me at the festival? I can guarantee you all special access. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not body sound like it could be a blast in hell half. Yeah. Plus, it's not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. True. He's in a terrible position, okay? Life lessons with Nuxanor here, watching cartoons. Let's go. This man's entire business is revolving around the fact that he borrows a book from this guy. That is a terrible way to live your life. You're living your life based on the fact that someone could just yoink everything you have away from you at any time. That is so sad. You have to make something from yourself where you're not relying on people like that. It's so sad. He's in a terrible position. And not in a sexual way, okay? But that also. Oh, I'm sorry. Your clients will have to wait. Oh, fuck okay. my clients. That, see, that is a strong mindset. Uh, that is great business advice. <laughs> What do you want? That is why I keep my phone muted at all times. I don't want to be bothered, okay? <laughs> Aunt Sir. Harvest Moon Festival! Yeah, fucking all! Let's go, Harvest Moon! Well, really likes the idea. There we go. Oh, Mama! Daddy! This is so awesome! Wait, hold on, wait a second. I thought these guys were in hell because they were humans that, like, screwed up and then they were banished to hell for, like, eternal damnation. How? How is she? I don't know, whatever. Okay, I don't understand the lore, but the point is she said, yee fucking ha, and that is really funny. Okay, comedy points. Freelance pays fine, Ma. We're doing Dude, honestly, though, dude, this is so relatable. I don't know, as a YouTuber, which is as freelance as it gets, if you're not signed up to any other companies, let's not reawaken previous rants that I've had. <laughs> I'm alive. Um, freelancing, hey, but dude, you're not, you never know when your YouTube channel is just not gonna work anymore. You don't know. It's not like you have a, a doctorate degree. It's not like you're, you're an MD. <laughs> uh, thanks, Mom. We lost our old farm hand to one of them terrors last week. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I am so sorry. I didn't mean to open that wound, sir. Hey. This is why you never ask anything that could have possibly happened. It's like, oh, hey, I heard your, your son had uh, cancer. How's he doing? Never, ever, 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 ever do that. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Don't ask a question where the answer. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. And he's hail hail. I'm not just his hellhound. Yeah, she's my daughter. Only on paper. What? It reminds me of war. Uh, what? Nothing like a little war to make a strong man. More battles were won by technological advances. Oh, in war. Moxie, I've dude. Researched the history of weaponry. Oh, Moxie, bro. And it's inspiring how, no. for example, I mean, war fun. Guns get the job done. Well, it's funny. Jo guns get the job done, says with an extremely massive Western Texas type accent. Jobs get <laughs> guns get the job done if you know what I'm saying. Yeehaw! <laughs> mm. You got cute little baby hands like your baby did. Refrain, sir. Speaking <laughs> strong hands. Hey, Striker! Alright, this guy's gonna be a Giga Chad. I'm ready. Oh my god. Oh, looky here. You must be the famous Mildred. A free work and finally slowing down. Oh, no! No, freelance isn't free. It's a. Never mind. Our boss is boyfriend. Millie? <laughs> you... Oh, no. All right, all right. You should have said boss's boss or boss's friend. You don't do boss's boyfriend if you're the. If you're the whore, man. God. I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. Boss, huh? Hey! 
Hey, did you hear that? That was a that was a pretty based line. I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. Let's go! That is huge! I'm not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. Advocate of gender equality! If she deserves it, she gets the spank. Yeah, well, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. Not many imps start businesses on their own. That's pretty impressive, sir. Oh. Yeah, it is. I, I guess. I guess it is, isn't it? The power so of ego. On that ditzy blue blood into getting you to the. Yo, I love how everyone loves the boss. It's just poor Moxie, bro. Ah, oh, poor Moxie. We, the, what's between? It's a transactional fucking, you see. You In other words, he's the whore. I don't understand why this is so complicated. Dude, you're in hell. You are literally in hell. You are a demon, an imp in hell. Say it as it is, okay? Transactional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a competition to be the roughest, toughest bastard in Raya. The last competition ended in 15 separate funerals. I'm aware, but I only caused nine of them. How come Yo, so that's nice? true. You know, she can also cheer for me. <laughs> no. You? Yeah. Don't do boxy like that. Bullets can't pierce the shell. You gotta get the knife uh -oh. underneath them. Pry yourself an opening. Oh, right, right. Remember, your rep with the in-laws is on the line here. So no pressure at <laughs> uh, all. You totally will not. <laughs> no pressure, but literally everything is on the line right now. No pressure. Your child might be murdered in front of you if you fail this, but no pressure. None at all. It's not like everything is in the balance or something. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> Dude, I've literally said this to people. I don't know why I'm making fun of Blitz when I literally, <laughs> I literally talk to people like that. No pressure or anything, but this is a tournament for $1,000. And one little screw up right here. If you are not cultured enough with your current answer, you will lose $1,000. No pressure or anything, nothing major. It's not like your entire reputation is on the line and it will be shown to a million people on my channel or anything. Literally nothing to worry about, no pressure. Uh... No! Let's go, Boxy! No! Yo, that's going on TikTok. This is Jose. My clavicle. Don't worry. My clavicle. No, it's like you fall on your butt. You don't say, "Oh, my ass." No, my coccyx. You want to help the men skin this thing for dinner? Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the manly man. That's what she said. What who said? Wait, what bitch is talking shit about me? <laughs> Don't let him get to you. And hey. Yo, she is literally the best wife ever. I know they're in hell and they're imps and whatever, but this couple, this is the most wholesome couple I have ever seen. Like, uh, they they are carrying it, okay? This is so good. This would you be if I bet on him dying? Welcome, uh oh. Man, I, I don't I don't envy Moxie's bussy right now. This man is about to get split in half. I'm happy to kick off the start of these games that will challenge the toughest imps to show their skill and dominance. Good luck to you all. Yes, chat, I do hate the word bussy. That is correct. And the reason why I'm using it right now is because if I normalize it, I will stop hating it. You guys can hit me with bussy as much as you want because I will become immune to its power. Anything that holds power over me, anything at all, mentally or physically, I will overcome it. Yo, this poor dude. All right, so he has the physical advantage. I'm better at other things. This is Jose. I'd like to take this opportunity to sing a quick song. No! All right, if you're gonna roast someone and talk about why you're superior to them, at least pick a niche that you know that they suck at. Okay? Is that a cheese on a stick? That's how it be nice working with them. Working? What? Yeah. I asked him if he wants to join IMP. No! That's troubling. How in the fuck did he get one of these? Why don't you ask me? Uh oh. Shit. Well, why do you have this, Mister? You are aware this kind of weapon can kill demon royalty. Yes. Oh no! Oh, no! No! Don't kill the man that was sucking Blitz's dick, whatever his name is. That's kind of the point. Okay. 
well, I, I'm, I'm it's pr you're gonna you're gonna kill a gay man on Pride Month. If you're gonna kill a gay man, don't do it on Pride Month. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you don't talk shit when somebody's literally stronger than you in private. And he has a gun. And he's a murderer and a demon. Eh, not a not a great idea in general. Wow, good thing she has super hearing. Unlike him, because he's a snake who doesn't have ears. Look at that. My entire saga coming around full circle. Pathetic. Let's go! Yeah, baby! There we go. Power of love. Let's go. This is just a whole this is just Harry Potter. This is just Naruto, okay? Power of love. Oh god. It's a lot of blood for power of love. Not the base, not the Ooh. I'd kill y'all, but I feel like Ew. there's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't. Plus, you little things ain't worth the cleanup. I mean, there's already blood everywhere at this point. They're bleeding all over the place. If the problem is the cleanup, just kill them already. Like, come on, man. Well, it is not Harry Potter. The power love did not work. <laughs> she got slapped. I got worse than this during the flower toss at my brother's wedding. But I caught that fucking bouquet. There and we it go. Was fucking worth it. Yeah. You just have to get out there and fuck up that brown nosing cocksucker for me. But I can't break through it. I'm not strong enough. Not this with your okay. hands, baby. Use what you're good at. Yeah, use your head, bro. You're smart and jizz. You could put together a pipe bomb, just like Oompaville did the other. Anyway, let's not talk about that. that that's gonna be a video later. Uh, disregard what I just said. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Probably should have used this earlier. <sighs> yeah! Love you, hun. But for fuck's sake. <laughs> I, Stolas of the Arves Goetia. Let's go. Hereby curse this year's harvest. Wait, what? With the glow of the true harvest moon. Yeah! Wow, that's, that's beautiful. No! Uh, excuse me. The fuck? Let's... Wow, this dude's actually good at his job? What the hell? You know, the two of us are superior than most of our kind. And you were so above sucking on a disgusting, rich, pompous Goetia, only to sneak topside for scraps and work for bitter sinners who could care less who you are when you could be... Dude, this man is literally sucking the dick of royalty. 90% of Twitter would give anything to suck the dick of royalty, or in turn to get royalty to suck their dick okay this man is literally living the twitter dream right now i've seen it i've seen it you got some someone tweet and then you got a million replies saying i would suck your dick for at least 90 percent of twitter slaying overlords why struggle to run a business that is rigged against you when you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable starting with the one that treats you like a plaything oh that's good Dude, the, the man gets paid to be treated like a plaything. He could say no at any time, bro. Let's go! You enough mocks? <laughs> wow, you should have seen your dipshit face. Whoa, whoa. Okay, cliche much. Oh, you daddy fuck. You got this, bro. Let's go. Oh my god, this is literal better animation than Records of Ragnarok on Netflix right now. Would you look at that? Oh uh, well. In your wet dreams, you hockey talk show. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Slap him. You're wasting a lot of potential relying on a weak little. You gonna finish that fucking sentence? Yeah, baby. Vermin. Who's weak now? Okay, I'm here. She, she was. She's out there watching TikTok. She literally. TikTok ruined the day. If not for TikTok, they would be safe right now. Follow me on TikTok. So is he supposed to be a recurring I character? I believe you let him trap you, Millie. Haven't we taught you better? You two are getting on a case about being hurt by a psychopath you hired? Shame on you. Yeah, baby, you tell him. Wow, he nodded. He Damn. He acknowledged your input before. So, <laughs> I guess that's high praise, right? That progress. But don't worry, ma'am. It won't happen again. It's better not. It's better not! Couldn't they get a real British person to voice act this? I mean, the production is so good. It better not is not British accent. Okay, come on, come on. I don't care who you have to go through. Make it happen! Oh my god! His wife hired someone to assassinate him because... Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. God damn. 
Wait, wait, no, no, wait. It happen. <laughs> They're in. <laughs> She's on the phone in front of them. Talking about trying to assassinate him. <laughs> I'll get him next time. <laughs> that was really good, though. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was really good. Dude, Hell of a Boss is so good. It's really well done. I mean, I still prefer Has Been Hotel. Hell of a Boss. Episode 6. I never saw this uh, because I was on hiatus when it came out. And I'm excited to see what they do because I generally love these episodes. Are you prepared? I hope so. Pog. Sexual themes? Nice. We good so far. It's exciting. Right there. This was the first sighting. They are definitely from hell. They must use this dark Lore! to cross over into our world. Lore! Oh, well. <laughs> that's convenient. Godly irony at its finest. Let's go. Remember, we can't be seen. Oh, they're doing this. my words, sir. Banging good job of that, Tobar. The loudest. I said shush your dick-sucking lips, Moxie. <laughs> yeah, Moxie. Get down! Oh my god, it's the Christian! Luna, close it! Wait, no! Oh my god, it's... Wow, this... This new Blue Exorcist Foxy. arc is looking sus. Oh my god. This is why she's best girl. All you simp simping for Luna. What are you doing sitting there? The boys are in trouble. Oh, I don't know. I've never noticed this before, but Molly kind of thick. I mean, what an emotional moment. Oh, riveting stuff. I'm, I'm crying with you. <laughs> that is what I meant, by the way. D d disregard the thing I said before. That was just uh, not real. Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until... Open the fucking portal! Honestly? Strong mindset. If you're using no euphemism, swears, or sexual innuendos, that's how you know you're telling the truth. Or maybe that's just me. They aren't here! Oh my god! It smells like they went this way. Come god on. damn it, Let's Fifi. Let's find the dumbass twins. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers in the college <laughs> I dropped out of. Also, I've been strapped nipple first to a car battery, so I... Oh, okay. Hell is... <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. Why are you killing humans? When did you show up here? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there, bitch. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock. Tell him. I want something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more capitan chino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture otherwise. And Let's I'm go! Sure my incorrectly on the cup. The no! Boxes. I hate that. If you can't handle that, I'll have a venti Bruh. traditional misto. Please use soy milk with two blonde shots <laughs> and ristretto. I'd also love... Yeah! the pumps at the very bottom. Then Pog, at the bruh, that's... <laughs> Dude, I, this happens all the time. Whenever you're captured by some evil man and they're torturing you and want information from you and you're trying to sound all sinister and you say, I would like a glass of despair with two spoons of destruction. And then your partner asks for like a macchiato. Dude, it's so cringe. I hate when that happens. Relatable. When you say tortured, do you mean physical or psychological? Physical seems counterproductive. We would likely tell you anything if it meant an end to the pain. And you would have no way of knowing what was true. Or we My might have too much. And then you've got a whole new thing to deal with. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> ah, you're stupid, huh? I could work with stupid daddy likey dummy. <laughs> Bruh. These, these, these legends. <laughs> Who's torturing who? What are you? I'm a Virgo. Ha! Ooh, smart guy. Uh... <laughs> Quit that. Yeah, Virgo, bruh, that is such a cancer thing to say, dude. Bruh, that is literally such a cancer mindset. You and we'll shut you up. Oh, getting kinky. <laughs> we aren't playing any of vile demon kinks. I mean, that's what it sounded like back there, you sickos. Please don't give them ideas, sir. Why not? Ooh. I know the shit you're into. Stop! Who are you gonna call? Hmm? Your fat mom faking her for a fat time. Got up! Oh, no coming back from that. That's almost as savage as hitting him with a D's nuts joke. Bro. Whoo. His fat mom is dead. Wow. Dark comeback. That's like when someone says suck on these nuts when in actuality they're a eunuch. Tragic stuff. Trust me. How are we going to get in? All right, Fifi, Fifi to, to the rescue. 
<laughs> he just bit the coffee and the guy sitting next to him. Uh, this is why it's a good show. Dude, I love <laughs> they all have guns. <laughs> They're just coming with like baseball bats and knives. Typical Christians. Oh, she! Fifi got the moves. Last time she was this flexible was in a hotel room in, in the Marriott. This is like Among Us, but in real life. Bro. They're, they're such fools. Don't they realize that 17.8% of the things they do are actually gonna even ha phase <laughs> these demons? Bruh, I've done the math four times, and I have to say, the data is empirical. Cringe, bro. This is why they shouldn't play Among Us. Pretty agile for an old lady. I'm like five years older than you. Stop insulting my mother! She's dead! Hey, hey, let's just leave them here until they feel like talking. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's a well-known interrogation technique. Leave them here until they start talking. Literally talking to Hellspawn. That's definitely what they would do. <laughs> Christians. At least, I mean Blitz, at least Blitz is used to bondage. No? Nope, nobody? Nope. All right, we continue. I can't tonight. I'm hanging with Millie. I'm so worried about Millie. And she's always five fucking feet away from you. It's pathetic. That was awesome. Basically, what every single guy feels like when their buddy is in a loving relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Literally projecting every single guy's mindset when their friend is in a relationship. Wow. Blitz, you, you, you touched me, bro. Not in the same way Fifi touched, a different type of touched me. Sir, they're filling this room with something. Fuck. What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth telling syrup. Oh, you just guessed that's what Wow, it was. holy, that was pretty just specific. God damn. I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait. Ew! Fuck, why that? <laughs> yeah, take it, man. You said you loved it. It was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny. <laughs> 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 I felt uh, I love this show. <laughs> this Hell of a boss is so good. Yeah, I... Turns out, guys, I actually like my hero academia. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Lips? invested. <coughs> I, I can't see you. God, this smells awful. What's that music? Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say- It Satan... is no prank, bitch. Hey, why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy, Stop it, are sir. tripping balls. <laughs> Everyone no. needs someone to tell them they're tripping balls once in a while. That's how you know he's a real homie. This be. I've never tried acid shrooms or DMT. It's a bad trip. Oi, Gavalt. Of course, Blitz, this would be. Did he say Oi, Gavalt? Well. <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting canonical backstory here. We got Moxie, who turns out to be Jewish. <laughs> okay, all right. Being attacked by Christians. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> and the lore deepens right now. Wow, this is a hell of a boss. is getting kind of kind of interesting here. I wonder if there's a story it's trying to tell. My lungs are full of honesty. Would you promise me that you won't judge? Yes, bitch. Not trying to divulge too much. Actually, a good song. I'm you. This is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay. Cause if you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. Open a dictionary sometime, and then maybe you can understand half of the frivolous things I can on and on about on my. Bruh, bruh. You don't know what you're Dude, this is that. This is an even better acid trip than in Dumbo. Yet you still shove away anyone who gets too close. Yo, what the hell? How is the writing of this show so good? I don't understand. How is Hell of a Boss so good? Are you worried I may have enough of it one day as well? Stop fucking talking, all of you! Let's go. Yo, I'm actually just, I'm, I'm, my mind is blown that the writing is so good. Do you have Millie put it in your box? It gives me an erection. <laughs> <and> <laughs> 
Uh, that's an Eigenvault so moment if I've ever heard one. I will be a better friend than I was before. Be better at This is actually so insanely well done. Oh my freaking god, it's well done. Holy crap. Together, we can begin to become fine. Ah, also better than Frozen. Learned more lessons. Okay, let's go. It's back to the bitch squad. Frick yeah. <laughs> Woo. It's the dorks. All right, take them down. You got this. You care too much about what everyone thinks, except for me, because, you know, my opinion is correct, but just keep doing <laughs> a good job. Use it. Thanks, Blake. Character development in a YouTube animated series? What? Oh my god! Dude, I am literally creaming right now. This is better than any anime that aired in the last year. Do you realize that? Do you realize that this is a better episode of anime than any anime episode that aired in the last year? What? This is so good. I'm really surprised by how well done this is. And also, it's nice that he, uh, he you know, he tells them what they need to hear, but he's normally an asshole. Kind of relatable. I wonder if anyone, the world, the entire internet thinks he's an asshole, but, but you know, he sometimes holds them behind the scenes. I wonder if there's anyone like that. Anyway. If uh, if there was someone like that, uh, he 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 uh, he, uh, he 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 would he would um he wouldn't tell you. There's my Millie. Yeah, hey. Work, Mills. How'd you get here all by yourself? Wholesome a million. Looney. <laughs> I still I still love how they just drop down with like these stupid weapons when they have gun and like all these crazy gases <laughs> just drop down with the chain sickle. Yes. Yeah, I've had one too many emotions for today, guys. Let's fuck these fuckers up. Yeah, <laughs> baby, baby. The fight scene. The, uh, wait, hold up. Why is the fight scene so good? <laughs> wait, hold up. Why is the fight scene so well made? <laughs> wait. Why is the fight scene actually so good? Why is it so good? Hold up. No. Hey, she looks so happy. Fuck, cover me. Yes, sir. I have been such gee. <laughs> I took a selfie with a decapitated head with a legend. Oh my god. Hog. Joy, motherfucker! What? I am just so damn proud of you, Looney. Bye, sweetie. Oh. Wholesome a million. Let's freaking go. What an episode. What a goddamn hey, episode. <laughs> she sliced him into nothingness. Oh my god. How about some water? No problem, Billy. Wow. This is the most upbeat, Once brutal fight scene I've ever seen. I love how they're in that room, like in the Batman room. It's like this endless basement. Oh, jeez. Oh, damn. Oh. Why are we only using weapons from Japan's period? Wonderful question. A bit meta, slightly on the nose, but wonderful question. The Edo period was badass, and you True. know it. True. Right. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Yo, wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. I have a great meme, okay? Me, when I enter Team Me, the 10 year old kid that enters Team Rocket's hideout. All of the Team Rocket grunts. Jesse and James. <laughs> Jesse and James. The ten-year-old kid with his level forty Dragonite. Oh crumbs! Is everyone okay? Woo! How's that? Yeah. Scum. The red button? No, impossible. Red buttons have a 17.8% chance of completely changing the situation on its head. I've done the calculation four times and the data's empirical. Massive big dick energy when you write my dick on a bazooka the size of King Kong. <laughs> you demons are going anywhere now. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Getting spooky. 
spooky. Getting spooky. Who dares? Daddy's home. My impish little lady. Who said that? Daddy's home, boys. It's Owl Guy. Let's go. I love that, dude. Agent O. <laughs> Yo, this is like that the Escanor intro, just much more cursed. What's the matter, Demon Hunter? Never seen a real demon before. Ooh, she. Yeah, man, that's an, that's annoying about moment. Oh yeah. Oh my God, dude. Holy crap. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? Way to make an. It, this is like legit. Like, hello, Eisen. Eisen from Bleach. I know it took 40 episodes to introduce yourself as the Bleach villain, but take some lessons from this guy, okay? Holy moly. Yeah, baby. Daddy's home. Let's go. You realize this dude just turned the lights on. This is the most badass way someone could possibly turn the lights on, okay? It's like, think about it. Top 10 light turning on moments. We just found number one in all of history. He didn't do anything else. He just went to turn the lights on. But extremely pog indeed. Holy moly. I am, my cock is throbbing right now. Throbbing. Stole it. Well, well, hold on. How did you know that we needed help? I have my ways, darling. Are you all right? This man, this man, once he puts his dick in your ass, he is your best friend forever. He's like, he's like, you know how dog are man's best friend? This guy even out trumps dogs once his dick's been in your rectum. How the fuck did you get caught by humans? Are you little creatures <laughs> not being careful up here? You know. Yo, this dude was in an alternate dimension, okay? Absolute ultimate dimension. He he scared them so much. His, the, the police guy's dead mom is, is having nightmares right now, okay? How do you get caught by humans? That's, dude, this is legit the ultimate question of demons, like, that get beaten by humans. They have, like, interdimensional powers and stuff. Yeah, you can unclench your bird puss, Dollis. It's not gonna happen again, okay? Luckily for you, most don't believe the word of the demon-obsessed lunatics. They are seen as kooks. <laughs> wow, this man insulting Christians like that. SMH my head. Kooks. Such a silly word. I love this now, man. Let us all return. Yes, please. I'd like to get back to the correct hellhole as soon as possible. The correct hellhole. Get it? Because the world sucks? going to get any thank you for the rescue, Bitsy. Well, I suppose you should. Want me to fuck your brains out tonight? Very much so. All right, but you're keeping quiet or I'm using those bear traps. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Debt paid successfully. Let's go. Oh, please do. All right. I love how they left Jesse and James alive. Pog. We finally got the evidence we needed to be taken seriously. Let's go! Lore! No, it, 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 it. Bruh. Bravo! This was fantastic. What a god damn roller coaster masterpiece episode that was a hell of a good time like i am blown away by how fantastic this episode was i am flabbergasted at how amazing this was whoa give vivzy pop your time and attention they deserve it this was masterfully put together unironically amazing Drop a follow, everybody, if you're new. Leave a like. Subscribe. One million subs on Nuxinor and 2.5 on Nuxtaku, and I will be doing a boob reveal. That's awesome. Follow me on TikTok. I, I, I felt like once I, you know, once I shouted them out, I need to shout myself out, too. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> what say you we watch the new hell of a boss? I, I was really excited for this. I saw it got uploaded. I promised you I would watch them on stream. I, Team D's. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Chat, you ready for some hell a hell of a good time? Dude, I love I love Hell of a Boss so much. Honestly, the last episode blew me away. I don't know how this could top it for me, but this is the finale of the first season, part 1. I am so excited. All right, Team D's. Are you ready? Please Twitch don't ban me for this. Let's 
Oh, furry awakening. Oh, flip. Don't you dare finish a filthy pun in my presence, Moxie. Sides, drinks are on me tonight. Let's hit up the new dive down the street. Actually, sir. Literally me when anyone is about to make a pun. It's our one year marriage anniversary. So I'm taking Millie to Ozzy's in the Lust Ring. Let's go! Bro, best couple ever. This man knows how to treat a woman with food. Not saying that that's the only method, but it's a damn good one. No, it's fine. I, I can come with the two of you. Help you celebrate ah! your fuck monogamy. Uh, no. The reservation is for us. I'll wear something nice. It's a big deal. Let's after go. All. <laughs> yeah. See. No. No. Fun later. I love third wheels. They're so cool and awesome, and I'm not at all saying that because I myself happen to yeah, and for no reason do I think third wheels are kind of awesome. <laughs> What a lucky Everybody dude. Six, six, six. Let's go. Departed. He is stealth. Oh, pain. Yeah, it's Luna. Why would she answer him? I would never Where answer this man. Go for it. Oh, never hey, mind. She... <laughs> never mind, she didn't. I love how much how much effort this man puts into ruining people's relationships out of love. It's so inspiring. You know, you have really nice eyes. Yeah, baby, Daddy. take out the the doorman. This is so sad. This is so sad and not relatable at all. I promise. I promise. Oh. I've never related to someone to this before. I relate to this in no way at all. <laughs> Nothing. Zero relatability here. Oh. Let's go, Owl Guy. He's literally my favorite dude. I love this man so much. God. I, why won't you love me, Alejandro? That's a mood, Gabriella. That's a mood, owl guy. Let's go. Let's go. Lindsay. <laughs> Nothing like taking out a hooker on a date. Know what I'm saying? Want to come with me to a club tonight? Are you asking me on a date, Lindsay? I that is so wholesome. If only he wasn't married. Know what I'm saying? I I'll see you. Blitzy. <laughs> I love this man. I love how uncomfortable he makes me. Come on. Come on. Oh, Blitzy. I'll be there in 20. It just took 20 minutes to get ready. He just teleports there. Look at this dude. I'm here. Do we have a problem? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, uh, uh, my apologies, your highness. Uh, please go right in. Let's go. Ah, that little, that middle finger felt so good and cathartic. You love to see it. Oh, Blitz, how romantic is this? <laughs> what made you choose such a place to bring me? Oh. I, I love how this man is willing to suffer humiliation and terrible company just to bomb his employee's anniversary. Out of love, of course. It's beautiful. Can I get you two off? I mean, start you two off with... Common mistake. We all make that ish day. Yeah, yes. Oh, perhaps some champagne. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> perhaps all three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's go. So That's how I order food. <laughs> what made you decide to ask me out after all this time? Uh. To be fair, I've had worse, more awkward first dates. So, like, I mean, I don't even feel bad for them at all. Welcome, welcome to Ozzy's. Lust Ring's number one place for all kinds of sick- Dude, that's sick voice acting. God damn. This dashing clown face from my numerous toy project replicas across the room. Oh, that was the Lululand guy. Ribbed for your pleasure tonight. You gotta respect the sacrifice for whoever voice acted this, because then they weren't able to speak for a week. And then you gotta go to <laughs> And then slap a fat subpoena in it, because I'm very much looking to sue. Well, that, that's a awfully on target tangent he went on. I know what you mean. I have four of them. <laughs> okay, keep that guy far away from me. Chat, just having you know, there are a lot of you that act like that guy. Okay? It's weird. Stop it. <laughs> All right, here goes my man. I'm rooting for you, boy. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Oh. <clears throat> uh, hurry up, bullet. Uh, sing, boy. I say, I say. Just having you know, chat, a lot of you guys sound like that guy, too. Okay? You, you get some of the overzealous guys, and then you get a lot of the hurry up and play guys. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> a surprise for our first anniversary. Ah. I love you, Millie. 
I love this man. Love is a journey we decided to start. Yeah, I hope we'll never end. Dude, why is it so good? Ozzy's ain't the place for sentimental sounds. What you expect? Oh, what? Like us. Give me a thrust. Wait, damn, this is like one of those demon king guys. One of the whatever they're called. <laughs> Trumpet. Yo, this guy is giving me serious Hades from Hercules vibes. Well, we got a saying that's popular in these pods. Only little bitches strum the strings in their heart. Oh! oh. That line! See the load of this dweeb and his unsatisfied bride. Hey, now, I've watched those two pork many times. What? Oh, no! No, no, dude, no! Don't ruin it! So you're showing your face? Hey, everybody! You gotta respect this man. He's walking into flames. He's walking into hell right here. About to have a war with this dude just to annoy his employee. God bless the man. What a legend. Last I checked, your love life is a pile of shit. Oh, Blitzo. I used to date. Oh, oh God. Here we go. All right, you think he's helping them? This man, he's helping them by annoying them, okay? it's That's, that's literally my M.O. Helping people through annoying purposes, that's that's what you love to see. You sold your life for a thrust! Now that's the spin. Ouch! Hey. I think you were trying to sing something for me, Mox. Let's go, Millie! Best girl! Hell yeah! Woo! Sorry. Um, <clears throat> but that was so good! Oh my god! Literal better life lessons in this than every Disney movie combined. That's right. I want whorehouses to teach the life lessons to, well, maybe not children, but, you know, to the people. Let's go! Let's go, Millie! I love us just the way we are. <laughs> Don't laugh at my stupid jokes. I'll never take you for granted. I'll always give you God damn! Can offer the same fate will handle the rest. Cause I love you. Cause I love you. Ah, this is awesome. God damn. God damn. Naruto and Hinata eat your hearts out. Literally every other couple in anime. Pff, get wrecked on. Get sh get freaking shafted. By Vivzy Pops, goddamn YouTube animation show! I still can't get over how good this is. Oh, ain't that just such a happy display? It sickens me. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Customer service, let's go. This man can teleport! Why'd he take a ride home in this disgusting minivan? He can teleport! I have some more wine in the house. Octavia is with her mother this weekend, so we could. Oh, uh, they got divorced or split up. Well, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But then again, they're in hell, so maybe I don't know morality works there. I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk or watch a movie or maybe Netflix and chill. Good night, Blitz. Night. This is so sad. Why am I feeling things? I thought this was just like an edgy comedy. <laughs> Nani? Wait, what the flip? He has parents? How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? Was, didn't, wasn't he just like a bad dude on Earth and ended up in hell? What? <laughs> Siblings? How does that make sense? <laughs> Bro, I don't want to wait till that freaking part two. Oh! Pain. I don't want to watch. Wait till part two. Imps were never human. Imps are hellborn. Okay. Lore. Okay. I, I like lore. I have to wait for part two. God damn it. How long was it since the last episode? This was so good. Dude, the characters in this show are so well made. It's insane. Two months. I have to wait another two months. It was a Halloween release. Bruh, that was so good. I am so excited for the next episode. God damn it. I hope they do a season two fast. I don't want to wait. 
I don't want to wait. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you today with a grandiose thing. Number one on trending, just released Hell of a Boss, season one, episode eight. The finale of the first season that we have all been waiting for for months. I am literally so excited. Uh, it is why I am streaming today. Let's just jump right into it. I have not seen it. I was waiting for you guys. I appreciate you. Subscribe for future schmizzles. See what we got. Smash. Pass is what I was saying. You want me to drop you off here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this mm. looks right. I, uh, haven't been here before. No, no, no. This is not a real place. Oh my god, I literally read that as, hey, I'm in here. Her shirt is way too short. Bro, she's she's just a, an 18 year old child. Girl, glad you could make it. Tex, yeah. Oh my God, it's it's uh, Spider-Man 2099 of the Hell of a Boss universe. Hey, thanks for inviting me. Of course, of course. Hey, oh everyone. Oh my God. Meet the new face. <laughs> you want a drink or anything? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, totally. Unless you fucking crawl at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just found the first female in all of Hell of a Boss that has no Rule 34, because there is no shot an artist is such a big fan that they're going to draw anything of this. That is so not fetch. Not fetch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that happens all the time. Uh, where, uh -huh. where is it? Oh, um, lunatic Luna? That you? Uh, yeah, it's Luna. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe you're showing up to another party. I mean, do you even remember the last one? I'm sure you'll remind me. Yeah, this? This year, right? That's exactly what Fifi looked like after she swallowed way too much in one night. Why do you still have that? It brings me joy. You know, you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy. You know what doesn't bring me joy? Her voice. May she get run over by a tractor soon. Wow, you're being really negative. Your aura is really aggressive right now. Oh yeah? Well maybe it's cause I'm in the presence of a massive fish. Oh, uh, my dog. Wow. What? Dude, they're that literally in hell, what? Okay thing to say? Like, come on, it's true. You can't say that. Did I miss anything? No, no, no. <laughs> no, nothing. <clears throat> no. Ha <laughs> how are my dirty bitches doing tonight? of gluttony. <laughs> Bitch is the n-word in a hell dog world. Come on. I have such high expectations for this episode. Every moment that something doesn't blow my mind, I'm almost disappointed. That's how high my expectations are for this one. After all the drama this episode got in before release, I am literally so excited. Hell yeah, because the honey is flowing tonight and this not the only thing that's flowing when I go to Luna Rule 34 after the stream is over, is what I would say if I was a furry, which I'm not, so nothing's flowing. It's about to get fucking wild. Let's get it started! I, I mean, I'm listening. Gadida, a carnivore. I'll bring you a I'll take you down. I'm sticky sweet, stuck in your teeth like cotton candy. Is she a honeybee crossed with a fox for just that extra new Rule 34 challenger gets summoned to the stage? God, she's in Fifi's natural state. Sticky. What you want, not what you need. Oh. Hey, I don't know why. I'm what you want, but it's the truth. I'm not your lie. Let them eat cake, let them eat pie. Or better yet, let them eat cotton candy. Dog. Cotton Dude, the 
This song actually is kind of great. Now what you need, cotton candy skies, sweet as apple pie. I can't help but shine, brighter than the starlight in the sky. Yo, her voice is so good. You hungry? Take a bite! Get back tonight! So what you want? Dude, Our queen bee brings us. Th this, this is just oozing style. It's just oozing good vibes. So, so keep making me that motherfucking honey. Yeah, keep it coming. Oh my god, she's literally drugging everyone there. That's Kesha. Why does everyone keep saying that's Kesha? I don't. Who is this Kesha human? Just like me! Oh my god, anyone that watches my videos, I am what you want. But definitely not what you need. I love drug candy. It's my favorite thing. It's how my parents got me to calm down when I was a kid. And it's totally unrelated to why I'm a total whack job today. Ow, ow, Vortex. Party is buzzing now. Fuck. I feel like I went a little too hard with the confetti this time though. I have like a rainbow in my vagina right now. Oh my god, I also have a rainbow in my vagina. We are literally the same person. <laughs> oh hey, is this the sweet pup you told me about? Excuse me? She's a fucking cutie. Where you been hiding, girl? <laughs> is there something funny? <laughs> nah. Oh my I'm just god. Really high on all this tasty energy right now. Tex says you don't get invited out much. I hope this itty bitty get together can serve as a fun first time. Mm -hmm. I would have thrown a bigger one, but I couldn't convince Belfagor to let me break into her stash of party drugs. So fucking lame. I mean, I usually just steal them, but Bell changed the locks. Damn, she great. says I'm a total jackass for trying, but hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. This is such a cool <laughs> character. Yo, this is such a cool character. Is she like important for the overall show or is she just like a one-off gimmick character? But she is such a cool character. What? Anyway, yeah, B, this is Luna. Luna, this is my girlfriend, B. Nice. No! Luna just got cucked. And meet you, bitch. Oh, this is... She's hot. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Taxi. She literally is exactly like Fifi. Fifi and Luna are like one in the same. She didn't tell me she was hilarious. That's so funny. Right. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off and that's fucking beautiful. You are my new favorite person. Am I though? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> no, really. Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, oof, boy, you are hot as hell. But then I wanted to die because it was so awkward because he's more like a brother to me, okay. you know, but not actually my brother, so. I have no idea what she's saying, just like Fifi. I guess it was fine. I, guess. I could hit that. It's the first seven minutes of the episode, we only have her. This is the finale of the season. This, what? And the first half the episode is on her. Anyway, girl, you have a good time tonight. Get some sweets, get some eats, drink it, tear it, fuck it up. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, honey. Thank you for coming. Do you need anything? Why is she so awesome? Are you having fun? Are you good? Are you drunk? Okay, good. Okay, great. Are you good? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? Why? 
You just got here. At least one drink, right? Nope. You really wouldn't like me after one drink. Doing you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. If someone as grouchy as her calls, you don't even answer the phone. You just get there as quickly as possible. I just want to go. Hey, that sounds like Blitzo, the always silent asshole. Hey, I knew it was you. Fuck, man, where you been? You you're here for the party? No, no, I'm just here picking up my daughter. Oh shit, you have a daughter now? Adopted. Man, you're already leaving. Things just got started. Come in and show us all up again. No, no, thank you, but I think Looney wants to head back. Oh, uh, howdy next to you wants to leave? Watch it. I mean, we could stay a little longer. I think we need to go. Okay, I think it's been a long night. Uh -oh. Well, these people seem to know you. Come uh -oh. on. Uh -oh. I think I want to give this another try. Yeah, she just saw a hot dude, and suddenly she wants to give it another try. Please. Okay, Not the fine. puppy eyes! Maybe one drink. Dude, he's the best dad of all time. Everyone out there talking about anime dads, bro. We have the new top dog anime dad. Blitz! 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 Ah! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing bad! I Give me a real challenge! Guy. Oh yeah? Wanna fucks with the big bitch and boy? I got a challenge for you. Why is her hand on her own ass? Oh, he's gonna die. Alright, let's do this! From she knows she's thick. She does. She just knows she She entered into this scene. Look, look at this pose with the, the freaking everything. This is a character that knows the rule 34 is on the way. Look, look at this smile. This is the smile of someone that knows that oodles and oodles of rule 34 is gonna be taking over the internet. Bees personal supply, the hardest shit there is. You ready, my man? Oh, born ready! Bring it, Barky! I will drink you under this fucking table! You have no idea what kind of night I've had! <laughs> Alright, shit talker. But there hasn't been a soul uh -oh. yet who can beat me at my own game. Uh oh. So you better bring the fire, baby. Oh, it's Queen B too scared to lose to a little imp like me. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's get it on, you little bastard. Come on, Blitz. Fuck her up. You can do it. Oh my God. First, I haven't had a first in a while. That was magical, seriously, impressive. I tip my crown to you, imp boy. Respect. Ow, ow. Yo, why is she such a cool character? Hey, Loon, I don't mean to be a buzzkill here, but your, uh, dad, guy dude, is, um, he's seeming a bit... Out of control. Like, a mess. Yeah, it's worrisome. You wanna maybe check on him? Uh... How does she get taller and shorter as the thing ends? Listen, I need a... I'm planning my fantasies here. I need to know exactly how tall she is. Um... What? No! No! For the sake of fine. canon! He's always a mess. Trust me. Look, honey, I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time. But he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose. So I feel like you should check up on him at least. Just see if something's up. Don't act like you know him like I do. Uh -oh. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had like four tongues inside him at once. I mean, good for him. But I can taste the flavor of people at my parties. And he's giving off a very not okay vibe, you know? Oh yeah, and I bet you'd know the okay vibe, right? I mean, everyone likes you so much. What's that supposed to mean? Is that a problem? Sorry. 
<laughs> my fantasies are getting better and better. Oh my god, I'm just I'm just gathering all the loot I could find to put on my desk for when I finish the stream. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, yeah. Nope, I'll uh I'll check on it. Sorry. Sorry. I know, I got a little spicy there. I just hope everything works out. Now yeah, let's dance. Blitz! Blitz! Where are you, shithead? Blitz! Oh, oh piss on a dick! What the fuck are you doing, Blitz? This guy. It looks like- Got her! Sorry. Like you're in the middle of a goddamn orgy. Stop! Look, I didn't expect you to come in here and see any of this loony. I'm so sorry, but it's a party. I'm just having fun with the... Um, fuck is your name again? Dennis. Christ on a stick, you would be a Dennis. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not fucking a Dennis tonight. I need a Monica or Alejandro in here. Stat. <laughs> Better. <laughs> You don't need anyone. I freaking love Hell of a Boss. This show is so good. I'll suck in your face, freaky weirdo. You need to drink something other than Beezle juice. Uh, no. Beezle juice. Get it? Oh my god. Beelzebub is the B. Beelzebub. Wait, so she's is she one of like the top honchos of hell? Is she like one of the I don't know. I'm I'm a little shaky on the lore, admittedly. I watched this mostly for the Rule 34 after parties. She's one of the rulers of the seven sins. She is. That's transforming magic. Alright, okay, alright. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. Wholesome. Oh, so also she's taking care of her dad. I had a really shitty day. Oh yeah? Is that why you drank like five gallons worth of who knows what? Fuck, Fizz was right. I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Just a wrinkly, old, weathered waste. Damn. Will you be there, Looney? Beware. I don't know, it's lonely. I won't die alone. I'll be there, Dad. Ah! Now go the fuck to sleep, okay? Smell the I did need to throw up. This was not at all what I was expecting. I feel like Hell of a Boss does do one thing extremely well. The fact that you could have an entire episode that it seems like it's a completely self-contained story and then literally the last 30 seconds make the entire episode make sense in the context of a sequel to the previous episode. That is really good writing. This entire episode from Blitz's perspective is just him pitying himself because of the last episode while it itself was a self-contained adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, Hell of a Boss is a banger. I call out this moment as a moment in history. A moment that you should definitely subscribe. <laughs> like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.